If you guys are looking for super cheap and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got 24-7 support. Guys, don't waste your money on packs. Hit up the sponsor. Use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off of your entire order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the top 10 budget beast in Madden 21. Now, why haven't I made this video yet? A lot of you guys have been asking for it. The reason is, the first few days... People are more on the trial, people are trying to get some levels up, people are trying to, you know, open packs and stuff. So the budget beast I feel like wasn't too relevant the first few days, but I feel like we're getting to that point where you've done the packs you want to do, people are going to start getting the full game, people are already at a point where they're like, okay, I need to start building my team a little bit, and a lot of people don't have coins. So on Solar League, you know, remember, you can always want to go, you want to go pick up this budget team? I just saw in the intro, heading over to my sponsor, go on over, pick up some coins to build your team, and still... Picking coins is a great way to build a budget team because you can get a cheap amount of coins for a better price than packs and still go ahead and buy what you want. But on a side, off my side tangent, to let you guys know here that the players that compiled are in no specific order. They could be anywhere in these top 10. These are just players that I feel were a great value, were, were free, or just whatever I feel like would be a great way to build a team around. So when you're building a budget team, you really want to be looking at speed, especially considering uh, people with a lot of coins are going to be able to get players who are fast and good. Um, if you get players that are good, that's great, but they're not going to be fast, and then vice versa, if you get them fast, they might not be the best in terms of stats, but you want to go with speed first, because speed you can work with, good stats and no speed, it's just going to be a really tough game for you, just considering everyone else is going to have the speed on the team. But guys, before we get into the video, hit that subscribe button, turn the notable boys and join the family, give this video a big thumbs up as always, if you haven't already, comment down below, let me know who your favorite budget beast are in Man 21 right now, boys. But yeah, let's get into it. So, Trey Waynes coming on down here is one of my first guys on the list. Again, no specific order. I really do love this Trey Waynes. Now, they give him a value. Um, in my opinion, I would go and play the solo challenges. Go play the solos and pick them up. That's the best thing about budget teams this year. Theme builders are going, team builders, sorry, are going to be your best friend in terms of budget beasts this year. Trey Waynes is an awesome card. 90 speed and 88 excels. All you really need to look at on this card. Now, early right now in the year, defense isn't playing too well anyways, regardless of who you have. So we just get a guy with speed because, guys, I used Barry in my gameplay yesterday. If you guys didn't watch that, go watch that. He was too fast for the whole field. Anyone who has a guy like Barry or anyone just even fast, like a work done, you're going to need speed. No one was able to chase down Barry. No one was able to even take an angle on him. That's how fast he was. He still has 79 man, 76 zone, and 79 press, which is serviceable. Good enough pursuit. I really do like this Trey Wayne's card, but guys, do not go ahead and like purchase or any of that. Just go ahead, play your solos, get him for free. One of the smarter things to do in terms of a budget team. Guys, we do have Henry Ruggs the third. Now, I'm going to do the ones that are on the auction block on Madden. And then, of course, the ones that are on uh, Mudhead on Mudhead. So, Henry Ruggs. The thing with Henry Ruggs is 89 speed. Now, guys, there are like two or three guys that are very similar to Henry Ruggs. That is John Ross, Marquise Brown. I mentioned them here, guys, because they're all the same. All three guys, all the 89 speed, aren't that good at route running or catching and with their current card. So, you can pick up e whichever one you prefer. I just said Henry Ruggs. He's the new one. He's the rookie. He's the fun one. But you can do any of them. But they all look really, really good in my opinion. Great speed. 89 speed. 85 jumping. Then you have the 70 catching. 66 catching traffic. 70 spec. And then the route running is not too great. But he's more of a guy like just give him a slant. Get him open. Find him open. Scram out the pocket. Find him. And once you find him, you can probably take that pretty deep if you catch it. And if you catch it in short range, he has space. He's probably going to be able to go pretty far with it right now. Especially with how slow most teams are. But for the most part, Henry Ruggs is one of my favorite uh, budget beasts. We got Justin Jefferson, guys. Now, Justin Jefferson, another rookie wide receiver that I really like. Another team builder as well. Now, again, guys, make sure you go play as solos. If you don't know what to do, you go over to team builders. Um, you can play. It's like a 16-game series. Just go get them done, guys. They're really not that hard. It'll take you a few hours, and you get a free player on your budget squad. And it's saying that they go for value. Honestly, I didn't know you could sell them, but it seems pretty clear here that you can. Now, so you can even make coins off that. It's just, it's, it just seems like a win-win to me. He's got 88 speed, 87 excel, 84 agility, 85 jumping, 78 awareness, 83 catching, 83 catching traffic, 85 spec catch, 79 short out running, 79 medium out running, and 78 deep out running. 84 change of direction, 82 juke. This Justin Jefferson is an all-around monster in terms of a budget beast team. He could easily lead as your number one wide receiver on that team. I did like the Jerry Judy at first. When comparing the stats, they're very similar athletically, and all Jerry Judy has is like plus one route running but like minus five, minus four, minus four out catching. So I feel like it was just a fair switch. And he's also got the juke, which I don't know what Judy's was. I didn't check that, but 
this Justin Jefferson seems really, really good. We got Denzel Ward on the list, 81 overall cornerback for the Cleveland Browns. You knew Denzel Ward was going to be on this list. He just has great stats for a budgety cornerback. He's at 88 speed, 88 excel, 86 agility, 84 jumping, 73 play rec, 76 man, 71 zone, 71 press. Here's the thing. Now, yes, I do believe that Trey Waynes is better than him. They're both not great at coverage, but they're both fast. Trey Waynes is a bit faster, though, which is why I like him better. But the difference between them two is that here's right here. Denzel Ward's going to be super cheap, super easy to pick up. You know, Trey Waynes will require you to actually play some solos. Denzel Ward's just a quick pick up and play. Or you could even pick up both because you do need two cornerbacks to three cornerbacks, depending at least two good ones not like you only need two you're gonna need more but at least two good ones and he's gonna be able to be powered up which i don't believe trey wayne's is and then again you could always keep denzel ward for later on in the year versus trey wayne's gonna be a one-time card and then eventually get rid of him but both are great options next we got xavier woods for the dallas cowboys guys great great safety option guys i think in my opinion the team builders are just so amazing this year they actually did them really well even for the low overall there are some some of them are better than base elites a lot of them are actually better than base elites now, there's a few good safeties here. There was Xavier Woods, there was Grant Delpit, there was Antoine Winfield Jr. After careful consideration, I went with Xavier Woods, but again, I mentioned all those guys. Feel free to get the ones that you prefer, but here's the thing. Uh, 87 speed, 88 cell, 86 agility, 80 play rec, 80 awareness. Right there alone is a starting safety. One of the fastest cards in the field. Great play rec, great agility, great excel. Oh wait, and he's free. 78 zone coverage, and you get 87 hit power, guys. You can use him as a safety if you really wanted to. Just because of how dominant his, his stats are, hit power, speed, excel, agility. He also happens to be 5'11", which is an average height. A little bit smaller, but nothing crazy. And, and, he's free. Or, he's cheap. It really depends on which way you want to look at it. He's not, not crazy cheap, but, again, he can be sold afterwards, so that's not horrible. Antoine Win Winfield and Grant Delpit were very, very close in stack comparisons. But, uh, Antoine Winfield and Woods were faster than Delpit. And then I think Woods ended up uh, clearing the whole gate with the highest hit power. So that's kind of why I went with him there. To got Raheem Monster, guys. I think he is the best budget back probably in Madden right now. 86 speed, 85 excel, 81 agility, 81 jumping, 81 change of direction, 80 carrying. Because he is probably, he's cheap enough, 25k. He's probably the lowest rated, priced, high speed, high excel guy. Now, is there someone probably with more speed than him? Yes, as like a, like a, like a complete bum. But he's gonna be like that. He's gonna be like that old Matt Breida that's just like a mix of good speed, good excel, and good agility. Still a base league, can be powered up, which means you can easily get him to an 87 overall. Now, I imagine his power might be a little pricey just because people are probably doing that. But 87 speed is going to be pushing one of the fastest backs in the game territory right right there at work done. And obviously, Barry Sanders is. Far and away the pack leader, but not everyone gets the luxury. It's only a few people in Madden. Only a few people in Madden have Barry Sanders, and I'm currently one of them. He's locked on my account, so I can trade him back to his owner. My account's currently locked, if you guys didn't know. But yeah, um, there's not many in the community right now. Smith, I really, really love this card for multiple reasons. First off, that right there, he can be powered up, which means you can get him to an 86 overall as early as day one. Probably one of the best user linebackers in Madden. Powered up, he will have an 84 speed, which is huge. He has 86 excel, 80 agility, 80 jumping, 83 player rec, 83 player rec, sorry, 83 awareness, 86 pursuit, 82 power, tackle, and 87 hit power with a 78 zone to round it out. Now, I would love to use this card. He's going to have great speed, going to be a high overall, and he's free, guys. You get him from playing the rival solos, takes a little bit of time. Very, very simple, guys. Go play your rival solos. This is the great thing about the list I made for you guys today is pretty much if you just play the game, you can pretty much get 8 out of 10 of these guys I'm going to probably name on this list for super, super cheap. I'm telling you guys, or even free. Most of them were free. And this card is just great. You got the hit. That's all you want to use a linebacker. Speed, height, 6 foot 2, and hit power. Because you're going to be running around. You're going to need the speed to get up to the players. You're going to need the height to get the jump. And you need the pit power for when you, when you make a tackle. With one of my favorite players on this list, he's another team builder. Go play the Titan sequence. 85 speed, 86 excel, 6 foot 3, 84 catch, 81 catch in traffic, 80 spec catch, 80 short out running. Guys, this card's a monster. This card's a monster. He's going to get, he's going to be one of the fastest tight ends, maybe the fastest tight end, with great, one of the taller tight ends, and he's going to have great, great, great catching. There's, there's no thoughts, and he has good route running. Guys, there's no, there's no comparison here. He's probably the best tight end in Madden right now for me, for the way I run, because here's my opinion that I've said multiple times already. When it comes to tight ends, it's not so much about right now having good stats, but having good speed. Now, the reason is for tight ends specifically, right now linebackers suck at covering um, anything and usering sucks. So what typically shuts down a tight end? 
good linebackers, fast linebackers, and speed. Or fast linebackers and a user, I should say. User with speed. So right now, it's really hard to use her, so tight ends are getting naked all day, because tight ends are always covered by linebackers, and linebackers and zones aren't working too well. I play kids who just throw to the tight end all game, and even once I use them, then I just completely let the other things open. And Jonu Smith, he's going to get open regardless because of how bad things are right now, so just throw it to him, and if he has the speed, he's going to make plays. As for one of the final of the last two players, we had Joey Bosa. Now, the reason I like Joey Bosa is very simple. Just like I said, with when you have a, a skill position player you want, you're looking for speed or you're anywhere. You're looking for speed, and then you're not going to have great stats. Jerry Bosa is kind of a similar case, but not in terms of speed. So the issue is when you want a pass rusher on your budget team, if you try to get a well-rounded player, you're going to end up with a low 80 or even a high 70 pass rush and block shed. And you're going to be like, okay, so he's well-rounded for the team, but he's not really going to get you sacks. He's not really going to stop the run. He's kind of just going to be, he's just going to be like a block. Joey Bosa, what sucks about him on a God squad is that always the issue is that he's a super, super pass rusher, but he can't stop the run. So on a God squad, you can't have it. Now, on a budget team, that's all you're looking for. On a budget team, you're going to get 86 pursuit, which is great, which is good for chasing them backs. 86 play rec, which is great, and 88 finesse move. If you power him up, you'll be able to get him. And if you add pass rush cams to him, you can get him from 90 uh, finesse move on a budget squad. Now, if you guys don't understand, 90 finesse move is pretty much a threshold, so he's going to feel like an able, one of the most elite pass rushers in the game at the small price of 30k, plus the power, of course, however much that comes out to. I don't think I'd advise doing that today. I'd advise getting the card, not getting the power up, per se, because of the pricing right now, but going to be an elite pass rusher, and he has a good power move. Now, his block shit sucks, but you got to give or take on a budget squad. Last but not least, we have Daniil Hunter. I like Daniil for a simple reason. He's kind of like a Joey Bosa. You turn down his pass rushing a little bit, but you give him the speed. Now, this is where I was talking about where if you want to get a well-rounded guy, again, he's not. this is the thing with him. He's going to have speed and finesse move and pursuit. So his finesse move powered up is going to be an 85, which is solid. Not as good as Bosa, but Bosa also doesn't have the speed that Daniel Hunter has. So Daniel Hunter, once he gets past the, the tackle, he's going to go straight for the quarterback and get there super fast. While Joey Bosa might get there a bit slower, but he also might pass rush sooner. So that's why I, I kind of have him right there as 1A and 1B at the end for the ends. So I think I pretty much covered, guys, all of my budget beasts. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Helps out a ton for the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that on to go, boys. Let's get to 22K as quickly as possible. We're growing super fast again. And if you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know who your favorite budget beasts are down below. And also let me know if you picked up any of these guys. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.